hike to Kukai's sacred temple on Mount Koya. Wakayama Prefecture's Koyasan is more than simply a mountain, it's a world unto itself. Not that it's more than a mountain, rather, it's a unique, revered location that should be respected as such. It's a large region with eight peaks and basins that, when seen from above, resembles the petals of a lotus flower. If you've completed the Shikoku 88 Temple Pilgrimage, you may visit Koyasan to express your gratitude. When the Japanese Buddhist teachings of Kukai, 774-835, didn't satisfy him, he traveled to China to further his education. Found what he was searching for, declared, yes, this is it, and begged for heavenly direction as to where he should travel to convey the message. Tosta, Sanko, Buddhist ritual utensil toward the East China Sea, or maybe the Yellow Sea, depending on where you stand. Whatever, regardless, it was carried away by a kaleidoscopic cloud and headed straight towards Japan. It fell on a pine tree in Koyasan, and I won't go into the specifics. When Kukai returned to Japan, he established the Shingon sect, which focuses on esoteric teachings. I'm constantly in awe of the verbal prowess of folks from earlier times. It's a mystery how they were able to communicate and grasp these notions in a different language. Things like these may be understood in a manner that we mere humans cannot. This place is stunning. Tourists from throughout the world flock to Japan for this same reason. In the monastic complex, where Kukai sits in everlasting meditation, you can experience the profound, serene quiet. One of Japan's must-see destinations is Koyasan. Spend the night at a Buddhist temple in known as a Shukubo, and purify your body and mind with vegetarian fare. You'll hear from Kukai in the next few minutes. Thank you.